enemy prisoners. Welcome back to Close Combat, the bloody first. And once again, we're playing with our favorite faction in this game, the Italians. Again, they're not known as the best fighters in World War II, but in this game, they've got a certain je ne sais quoi. They've got a certain ferocity uh, and, of course, love for country that a lot of the other factions don't. Also, they do have a bonus in troop numbers. Um, so, we're gonna try and make that work. As you can see right now, I'm just getting these Italian units up against this wall if I can. Um, some Tiratore Scelto units. Scelto units, I believe these are essentially snipers. Um, and we are gonna advance, as you can see, through the Rough Rider farm, through the Frutetto area, and hopefully we can take this land back from the Allies. Really, our only goal from our high command um, is to essentially halt the Allied advance as much as possible. So I've got some machine guns here, I've got a sniper here, I've got our good old-fashioned, the Semovente tank. Um, and even some machine guns set up over here. Now, as for the Fusileri squad, I do want to eventually take the elbow. I'm going to set up the Fusiliers here. I'll also grab this machine gun squad. And I'm going to push him on the right side over here. Uh, essentially, my first goal is to take this Rough Rider farm area. Then we can focus on the central points. Uh, what about this MG? I like to put him up here on the rocks where the other guy was, just in case we spot any enemies right away. And we've got another Fusileri squad. Let's put him right over here. And I'm actually going to take cover in that area. There's sort of like a little shack there. We'll keep the Breda machine gun on top for now. Same with this Fusileri squad. And I'm keeping that tank there as well. I don't want to mess too much with him. Uh, let's grab this squad. And we'll put him all the way up here on the hill. Hopefully what I'm going to do is get him into an even better position. In fact, assuming the enemy's not waiting for us, I'm going to have them fast move behind the rocks. Okay, guys, without further ado, we are going to get this game started. One more MG unit, putting them over here. And the only thing I want to do is immediately get these guys into that building. Boom. Get these uh, this machine gun crew into that building. Boom. And just to be absolutely certain that there's nobody waiting for us, I'm going to have one MG squad just kind of hang out back here and watch those buildings. Here we go, guys. Three, two, one. Iniziato. Here we go. And sure enough, not a peep so far. But let's see if anything happens as our MG squad moves there. In fact, off at a distance, I think I can see the enemy tanks. And this is probably why um, this battle technically favors the enemy a lot more than it does us. We're trying to change that. In fact, I want to get this squad right there on the stone wall in case their infantry start moving towards us. And I would love to move the Semovente up and start engaging. I know that tank is going to be somewhere in this direction, like somewhere over there. Here's what we're going to do, guys. Uh, let's push forward with our infantry. And I'm just going to take that position over there where you see that olive grove. I'm going to take our sniper, move him over here to this stone. And this machine gun squad, I'm going to move to the olive grove as well over Frutetto. And so far, not even our machine gunners have spotted any sort of strange activity, except those two um, brown squares are almost certainly enemy tanks. Yep, enemy tanks for sure. Well, the thing is this. We do have a howitzer, uh, artillery support, and this is going to be as good a time as any to try and destroy enemy armor, as that is going to be the biggest threat. We've got a lot of enemy infantry here, but that's not as dangerous as armor, so let's hope we get lucky here. And we're going to try to hit that armor. That's all we've got in terms of support for this battle. So we want to be careful. Yep, just staying put with these guys. So I think the square, um, it's been a while since I've played. The square is just enemy units in general. Nonetheless, it would be nice to take out not just um, a tank, but a 30 cal squad. And make it that much more difficult for the allies to move up. Although, while that's going on... You know what? I'm going to be a little more aggressive here. And let's start getting into town. In fact, I'll even move forward with the Semovente. 
It would be safer to do a hunt, but I think we'll be on a decent trajectory. I'm going to take the Breda as well, and I'm going to push the Breda forward to the same Fruteto area. Lots of machine gun fire coming from here, but I think we need to take this area before the enemy does. They're going for it. Look at that. That artillery's going off, although I'm not seeing any, any results from it yet. Oh, molto bene. And there are two tanks over there. So far, no damage to them. I'm not even sure the howitzer can necessarily do much to the tanks. But as you can see, we've got a proper fight in town. Just took out one of them. That's why you saw that little medic thing pop up. Abre fuego. Fuego. Scusi. Yeah, baby. Look at that. Ambush the hell out of that BAR team. Eat those grenades, boys. Questo territorio italiano. I'm just going to keep that Semovente there. He's providing perfect support. And look at that, guys. We've got enemy prisoners. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I bet you didn't expect the Italians to be taking prisoners, but man, they are doing exceptionally right now. Uh, I'm going to move the Fusileri squad over there to that building. Look at all those Americans downed. I don't want to mess too much with the Semovente squad, though. But over here, we've got to start pushing these guys forward as well. Let's grab the machine gun. Since I see a lot of Americans advancing over here, I think that's the best idea. Just get in there with the fusilletti. They've got some pretty decent defense, unfortunately, behind that stone wall. We're going to need to get some heavier stuff up there. In fact, I'm going to move the Fusileri MG squad uh, into that building. We've got this Breda 37. I'm going to push them into the same building there. So that's going to be almost like a machine gun nest. And I'd love to get these uh, machine gunners firing on the enemy over there too. So I'll try to get a bit closer while also having a little bit of cover. Uh, and yeah, we can absolutely move these Semovente forward. Let's go for it. Although I'm going to do a hunt maneuver. Oh no, Semovente's backing up. See, he knows he knows what's going on. We'll hunt maneuver forward a bit. Right side, I mean, Rough Rider Farm's looking great. Of course, we're just basically keeping an eye on the existing tanks. Uh, let's take that MG squad and put them up on the stone wall because then they can open up and look at all the infantry down there. Tanks or no tanks? <laughs> Somebody's going to make a pun out of that. Um, I think it's important to set up and just return fire on top of them. Get a really nice advantage on the enemy with these flanking shots. And we got a lot of artillery coming in. The, um, of course, the Allies have an advantage in this battle. It's heavily in favor of the Allied force. They don't move. Don't move, boys. Still under heavy fire, even at range. Yeah, we're going to have to get this sniper in a better position. Put him over here to where the machine guns are. And let's take a look and see what our uh, our Alamo is looking like. They're doing what they can, but the enemy's got, man, just such superior firepower here. This is why we got to get these guys in a better position. Unfortunately, that tank is a problem. No doubt about that. All of our guys are taking cover. Let's try to get over here. Ma perché? We're already taking shots here with the Breda. Abre fuoco. Same with the Tiratore guys. We're getting the sniper into position as well. Gotta say, I question this uh, sniper's tactics. Here we go, though. He is firing away at that position. We should have saved the artillery strike, guys. I know. I'm cursing myself right now. Definitely should have saved the artillery strike. The Semovente is going to have to help us out here. Forza, tanque. Also grab this machine gun squad and bring him over here as well to hold the Frutetto area. We've got an enemy tank directly in front of us, so I hope the Semovente is going to... 
Damn it. I don't like the way he's approaching. We're gonna have to aim directly at the tank once we get a visual. I don't care if it's not a perfect visual. Fire, foco, foco, inimico. I am cursing myself, absolutely cursing myself for not saving those artillery shots. But what's done is done. There we go. Next MG squad on the way. And actually now we've actually got enemies pushing. The infantry squad is looking great. So you know what? I'm actually kind of tempted to put this MG squad in that building. I think we have somewhat better defenses here. But we got to get closer to engage that armor, man. Nice. You got a shot. Not a kill shot, but at least he's getting hits on him. I'm not going to... I'm not moving the, the uh, Semovente tank. We can't do it. Sorry, boys. Oh, he just took a kill shot. I was worried about that. The battle is not over yet, though. We're holding this position. Even if it costs us our lives. In the name of El Duce. Abre fuoco. Just have the crew hang out in that building for now. And we do still have some units behind the farm. The problem is all of these guys are not able to help too much. As you can see, they are still delivering fire over there on the enemy, but it's not sufficient to really make a difference. So I'm almost thinking like we grab these guys fast and try to get in behind over here to keep the fight going on the left side. I think that's our best bet. The morale is pretty bad on both sides, but it's actually worse for the enemy. And we just took out another one of them out there on the field. So I like this position. The good old Italian Alamo indeed, folks. As long as those tanks don't push up, I think it really gives us a chance to potentially win. But see, they're at range. They're shooting over at these guys. It's almost best to just get these guys the hell out of here. In fact, yeah, they don't have um, smoke grenades. Unfortunately, the Italians, there's a lot of things they don't have. A support equipment uh, are one of those things. So we're going to fall back. A lot of brave men dead on that wall, as you can see. But as long as we can keep luring more infantry into a gunfight over here, we're going to be fine. And what I'm thinking is maybe even sending some of our men into these uh, groves over here, these olive groves, uh, to be even more aggressive with the enemy. This is, of course, our Commando Platone, our command platoon. We're going to send him into the back building to be safe. But I'm going to take this uh, Fusilieri squad and actually set them up right there for now, just behind some of that rubble. We hold all positions as well. I mean, that's another ex extremely important thing in this game is just to hold all uh, defensive positions, our old, all, all victory point positions. So we're going to try to just keep our hands on them and kill the remainder of enemies kind of that have fallen back to this area over here. Oh, nice shot by the enemy, man. They just got a lucky shot right there through the window. Actually, not so lucky. It's because they've got that damn light tank on us. Abre fuoco. Can definitely hit that BAR team. Light them up. And actually, with the enemy advancing, we should probably focus on the advancing infantry. Here we go. Every casualty counts in a situation like this. I don't think they're retreating. I didn't think so anyway. All right, let's grab the rest of these reinforcements here. 
Again, not a single anti-tank squad, but certainly enough to assist on these other uh, fronts. Let's see. Yep. We have more than I expected, actually, back here that can still help out. Um, I'm going to move this guy up to where we've got sort of the stone wall. I'm not in range of the enemy tanks, but basically if the enemy infantry moves up on this area, they'll be ready to fight. What have we got here? Yeah, that's just a wounded Fuchelletti squad. Keep in mind, a lot of the units you're seeing back here are simply wounded squads that have fallen back. Although we do have two more Fuchelletti squads over here that we can absolutely bring to the Alamo. Let's make it happen. In fact, we'll start them over here and maybe even get some overhead attacks. But so far, the location is still under our control. Have we lost anybody in that squad? Not as well, too unconscious, but they were not lost in this position. They were lost somewhere over here. In fact, one of them you can see on the ground there. What's this? Enemies right on us, guys. We've got a damn tank right on us. <laughs> Took me forever to realize. Even the Commando Platon, anybody that can attack him has to try. Abre fuoco. At this point, I think all we can really do is immobilize him, maybe. Maybe not even that. Yeah, he just forced our guys to fall back really fast. There's not much one can do against a unit like that. What we can do, though, is just set up ambushes all around this area. And just turn this into an absolute fortress if they advance, which of course they will. Hopefully the enemy th will think that the area has been totally overrun by that tank. They can clearly advance without any issue. Still see the enemy keeping a, a safe distance though, believe it or not. They're still pretty aware that there is a threat here. Let's move them up the right side here at the elbow. Heard a grenade. Actually, look at that. One of our guys is going out. Is he trying to throw? I think he's trying to throw a grenade. Look at that. Look at our boys. Oh my goodness. They got him. They got him. <gasps> que bello. So good. So good, guys. Italian elites, of course, man. There's no other explanation. Just look at that. No line of sight against the enemy. We can actually see them. Like, one of them's holding his face. It's clear he is pretty terrified. Man, we got so lucky just then. So lucky. And, of course, we've got the Controcarro. This is our other anti-tank unit. Um, he's not very effective. I'm just going to warn you guys. But I'm going to move him into that building and also set him up for ambushes. And we're going to fast move the Fusileri, um, excuse me, the Fusileri MG unit right up there to get some overwatch fire on the approaching infantry. Could probably do the same with the Commando Platone, but let's play it safe. We'll take the Fusileri MG over here, though, and fast move them into that frontal building. like to see those those guns going off that's a nice sign that is certainly a nice sign i'm almost tempted just to put the crew in there just to add numbers i think that's what i'm gonna do they've got pistols they can return fire there we go set it up boys set that mg up 
Unfortunately, the morale is going against us now, but look at that. We just hit one of them. There's more advancing, an assault team advancing of all things. Kill the damn assault team, come on. Poco. Want all fire on that assault team. And on this guy, the platoon HQ. If we can hit enemy officers, that's also perfect. But I have to say, man, we're holding our own. I don't think the Germans would have expected this. Our men are absolutely holding their own. One just took a bullet to the face. Come on. One tank down, the question is how many more tanks do they have? And I'm guessing at the very least, um, one or two or three more. What we can do, you know what? Very risky. I'm going to take these MG squads, guys. And I'm getting them right there on the edge of the, of the hill so that we can fire down on the enemy. We do have a few, like, stones, rough stones to provide some support. Look at that nice shot. Our guys just caught one of them over there with a lucky shot, I believe. Oh! Not good. Do the same with this guy. We want to push him forward into position. And as you can see, look at that. They're going to be getting a perfect overhead visual of the enemy. They're already opening fire, as a matter of fact. Not the best, but once the MG gets here, that's going to look a lot better. American, he surrender while you can. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Light him up, boys. From the hills, in fact. One of our guys should be focusing on this unit over here. The assault team. While the other one focuses on the Americans right there. This is a nice position. Not the best in terms of cover, but um, I'll take it. Put it that way. Oh, you see what I'm talking about? We got the overhead, though. There we go. One down on his side as well. Yeah, those guys are just wounded. Don't even pay attention to them. If we spread out the rest of our men on this hill, I don't think they're going to be too keen on fighting us. In fact, I'm going to move this unit right there. Go, boys. Go, go, go. Get into position. Nice. Another enemy down. And now, of course, the Fusilier MG have arrived. We just have a perfect, perfect position on that hill. That's the kind of position you want in this game. Or in any close combat game, really. Um, just have, have the high ground, man. Focus on the assault squad. Hit him. Again, when the enemy moves, that's when we need to start targeting that specific unit. So I've got everybody on the rifle squad. They just got a hit on one of our guys. So as you can see, they are good shots. These Americans are much better shots than we are. The training they've gotten, I'm, I'm suspecting, is much better as well. And there we go. That's the battle complete. Man, what an interesting end to the battle. I can't wait to see who wins. Both sides exhausted, man. The morale is almost identical. A stalemate. I'll take it. Okay, so there we go, guys. Looks like 10 soldiers killed on the enemy side, 19 wounded. Uh, 12 soldiers killed on our side, 26 wounded. A true man's battle, not a single officer killed. A true gentleman's fight, let's say. We will also see if any of our men managed um, uh, medals, but I'm not suspecting they did. It was just a very even so fight on both sides, but man, I had fun holding that position. And like I said, these Italians, when they want to, they can really hold their own. 
Uh, they can be some very, very experienced uh, guys. There we go. It's the Sergeant Majority Olivetti, the squad leader. Guys, if you've gotten this far in the video and you enjoy these videos, make sure to say Viva Olivetti as your comment. Because look at that. He got the tank kill. He also got uh, one act of cowardice, but we're going to ignore that for now. It was probably running in terror from the tank. I think he absolutely deserves some respect. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care, and I'll catch you on the next one.